Hello, welcome back again. Um, another attempt. This will be my third attempt at the solo flight for the Virtual Pilots Life program. Um, um, Ground School has just launched, so everybody who signed up and registered for Ground School has just received their packs and is working through the Ground School. So I can't wait to see what people make of that. But to be honest, that's kind of almost the boring part. That's the, the worst part of the Virtual Pilots Life program. But flight school is where the fun really starts. And you basically work through your various licenses. You have your private pilot's license. You've got a, a solo flight to complete, which is what I'm about to do today. Uh, you've got then the instrument rating. Then you've got your multi-engine cargo license. And then your commercial pilot license. And then your air transport uh, license. And, and you know, that's it. Basically, uh, you go through these seven licenses. And um, once you complete flight school, you are now a trainee first officer, and you can go and join either like um, a virtual airlines, either online in the real world or offline on your own, and just go like, you know, I want to fly with American Airlines. Um, or you can just get into the sim. You can then start ranking up your career from trainee first officer to senior captain. And it, it's kind of done in real time. There's no shortcuts. There's no like, oh, I'm going to do this in three months and I'll be senior captain. No, no, no. It's going to take you years to become senior captain because it's all for real. It's all done very realistically. So you'll rank up your hours and your flights in a real time um, fashion. You'll uh, need to be type rated for certain planes before you'll be able to fly them. But once you do, you opening yourself up for even more enjoyment. And along the way, you earn medals, you earn awards, you earn ribbons, um, all that you can basically collect and um, uh, earn, you know, and uh, and be proud of the fact that you've achieved it. So uh, today, basically, yeah, solo flight. I've got to create my solo flight. So we're here in Birmingham, and uh, we're in the sim. The weather today, looking at it, is okay. Uh, we've got clouds, or the winds at seven knots, so that's okay. It's a little bit cloudy, but uh, I don't think that's going to um, have much effect on us. So what uh, what is the solo flight? What do you have to do to satisfy it? Well, you basically you uh, you get into a single engine plane, and you have to uh, at your base airport, whatever wherever it is you live, and your closest airport, you get in a single engine plane. I'm using the C152. What do we need to do to satisfy this? We have to get in a cold and dark single engine plane. Um, I'm using the C152. Um, we have to take off and fly it all completely manual, no autopilot. We have to do a circuit around the airport and hit 6,000 feet at some point and land with a rating, a landing rating of minus 200 or less. Okay? Sounds pretty hard, but, uh, well, it is pretty hard to be honest. This is my third attempt. Here's my, uh, these two guys here are going to watch me. Um, I, I really, I think that's David Tennant, to be honest. Um, he looks like David Tennant, but yeah, these two guys are always at Birmingham Airport for some reason. I don't know why. Um, and another strange thing as well is uh, all these cars have got the same license plate. That's a bit weird. <laughs> so yeah, Birmingham Airport, my local airport, um, and this is the plane. So... We need to do a little walk around of the aircraft first. We have to make sure that everything is as it should be. So let's just check the propeller, make sure there's no cracks. The engine housing looks pretty good. I mean, to be honest, it looks beat up, but uh, okay. Yeah, this has had a fair few flights on it, I must say. Uh, it's all chopped up, tied up, so we'll have to sort that out. Uh, wings look okay. Um, let's see, flaps, flaps look okay, yep, that looks okay, no uh, massive damaging to the uh, integrity or the structure of the actual plane itself, um, I completely lost the controls again, uh, possibly, okay. I need to get a new controller to be honest, this is really going to cause a problem. Um, yeah, that's okay. 
What's that there? Is that? That's, oh, that's just a paint worn off. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. That's all right. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so let's uh, go around now and kick him out because that dude's in my seat. There we go. Right. I need to put my headphones on so I can hear everything. Right, so um, I'm going to bring up the checklist. We have to start this thing from cold and dark. So, uh, control lock, remove that. Check. Park and brake is set. Yes, it is. Check. Avionics are all off, which I believe they are. Uh, yep. Mixture is to cut off. There we go. Check. Ignition switch is off. Yes, I believe it is. Battery master switch. Turn that to on. On. There we go. Flat. Check. You know, that always... Uh, Let's go up a bit. Flaps, make sure they're working. Yep, check. Fuel gauge is checked. Um, and I will switch that battery off now to save the power. Um, fuel gauge, that's always there. Neutralize the trim, check. Doors are closed, check. We check that, we check that. They are off. Uh, we've checked the levels of the fuel tanks. The chocks have been removed, the tow bar has been removed. We did check the oil, propeller. Uh, brakes are set, check, circuit breakers are all in, uh, do you know what, I think I will kill the battery because uh, we don't want to waste the battery, uh, but all the circuit breakers are in, the carburetor heater is off, is it, yes, uh, avionics is off, check, fuel shuttle valve, right, so let's start the engine, so, uh, battery master switch on, Alternator switch. Now this is the thing that I have a problem with because uh, in in this uh, uh, there is no alternator switch, um, but it doesn't ask me to prime my uh, fuel, which you know needs to be done. But I don't know why it doesn't ask you to do that. That's it's weird. Um, but we won't be able to start the engine without priming the fuel. So we'll give it a few squirts and then lock it up and then lock it off. There we go. Uh, mixture set to rich, check, throttle open a quarter of an inch, and also another problem as well is this doesn't go all the way in, when I put it to full it doesn't go to full, um, again my calibrations are just, yeah, so that is set to quarter when I set it all the way down, this is so weird, right, propeller uh, clear, we're going to start the engine up now. Um, never get this thing going. There we go. Right. Turn these on. I can't see what I'm doing down here. Right. Uh, dome light off. Nav light, strobe lights. They can remain off. Pit out heater on. Uh, hey, up! What's that? Set for takeoff. Engine started. Ignition. Turn this down. I can't hear myself talk. Ignition switch set to both. Check. Throttle adjust. Check the oil pressure, it's in the green. We're at thousands. That's just gone back in by itself. See, this is what I mean. This is what causes me problems every single time. Because my controller just keeps killing me. Right, the taxi area is clear. Yes, we need to uh, tune in to ATIS and listen to our. Three zero, yep. Right. So um, 
See you. Ooh, 1800 broken clouds. Yeah. Visibility is greater than 20 miles. That's good. Our altimeter is set. Do you know what? I. Yeah. Hold back short receptions. Uh. Ceiling is 1800, guys. What do we reckon to that? We're not going to be able to. I mean, we got to get to 6,000, so. Is today the best day? Right, we're going to be departing to the west. Or straight out, I guess. Charlie Echo Sierra. Roger. Okay, I hear ya. It's me. Right, taxi area is clear. Release the parking brake. And let's test these brakes out. So turn this sucker around. Go, go forward, brakes, parking brake set. Yep, brakes we are, are working. Bounce the throttle a little bit. Um we'll check brake. The steering is checked. We 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 have been turning. Right now I'm gonna get so, rid of the checklist because uh we're gonna use the uh just flight checklist from from just flight. Alright, let's go. And we, I've got it set here, and it's set for taxi, so uh, here we go. We don't need the top menu anymore, we can get rid of that. So, we've got to go and head over here to take off. Uh, so, we're going to be following that plane there. The only thing that I'm a bit mm, about um, in this is that um, there is no A380s simulated at this airport, and yet I, we've got three uh, a day, three or four a day that take off and land. Um, and I wish, I wish they were simulated. I've got AI as well in in this, um, but again, there's no A380 in it. It's a bit of a bummer, really, isn't it? Right, is anybody coming? I don't see any planes coming into land. We, uh, yeah, no planes go. Oh, is that one? No. So we, we're good to go. We, we can cross the runway, even though we haven't had permission. Not realistic, but okay. We definitely would see a plane coming into land. I mean, this is the worst day. I should have set this for a fair viewing because, uh, oh, there is a plane there coming in. Right there, we we just we got across. Got some EasyJet over there, by the looks of it, and uh, some Ryanair, some Tui. Is that a, a Wiz or a, a Baby Bim or whatever it's called? So we got to. Uh, are we gonna have to taxi behind this dude? You know what? I don't really want to taxi behind this dude. Uh, we're gonna cut in the queue. We're gonna cut ahead. See ya. I don't think this is the taxi way we should have gone down. To be honest, so really fail. <laughs> but uh, oh, here it comes. There's, a, there's one coming in here. Nice. Nice. Look at that butter. That's butter. <laughs> hey, right. Uh, just beyond these fuel tanks here, there's a viewing platform, and you know, many a day you can find me standing there watching these bad boys come in. 
we don't need to follow him down because we don't need that extra room. We're going to be cheeky and come this way. Right, so we can tune to the tower now and we be able to ask for permission. Uh, now. Put the brakes on. Cleared for takeoff. Look at that, straight away. Yeah, Roger on that, mate. I'm going. Usually, what happens is they got me waiting here forever. Because, you know, it's just mental. Right. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Park and brake set. Uh, we got to check that again. Fuel valve set off as yet. Check that sector. Rich, check. Throttle, 1700. Which it will be when we get on the taxiway. Right, let's um, set here. Parking brakes, parking brakes. Right, set our flaps for takeoff. Carburetor heat is off. Uh, throttle full open. Accelerate and let's go. Yeah, well, I'm on. I'm going, mate. Yeah, it's it's already killing me. This it's already killing me. I can feel it, whereas I can't. I can't turn to the left as successful as I should be able to. So I'm gonna have to, in mid-flight, disconnect my my throttle, my uh, controller. I'm gonna have to take off now because I'm just gonna go off the runway. 60, come on, come on, come on, 70, 70. That'll do me. That'll do me. Boop. Right. Flaps up. Climbing up. 70 to 80. Oh, mate, we've gonna stall in a second. Right, let me disconnect. Reconnect. So I got full control. There we go. That's better. Uh, where we got throttle full open, and we gotta mixturize that above 3,000, which we are aiming for. Because we are aiming to hit that way. Where else? Uh, that's it, really, isn't it? Rotation! Let's keep it 500 uh, feet. And in a moment, we're going to turn to 060. We're going to fly a course there for a bit. We're going to then turn to uh, zero, uh, sorry, 150. We're going to fly a course there for a bit. And then we are, I mean, we're going to get roughed up, actually. I can't fly above these clouds, can I, really? I mean, that's not at all realistic. Right, let's, let's do our turn to 060 now. Keeping that at 500 feet. Whoop. Bank angle, bank angle. Bank angle. Come on, get that 500 going. Do you know what? I don't know if we're going to be able to make 600, 6,000 feet. And 6,000 feet is just something I've set for myself. It's not something you need to do to satisfy the solo flight. Oh, gosh, we've gone past. It's just something I've set myself. But I think the weather is going to force us to stay at a certain altitude. Because then clouds look too crazy. Um... It's already starting to haze off here, look. Oh. I need to get back on to 060. To uh, stay below the clouds. We're gonna have to go down at uh, like uh, yeah, 1500, I reckon. that really and we it 
seriously is just trying to pop up so much. Like, he thinks that the uh, flight dynamics of this plane are just pants. Right, let's trim, let's stabilize this. Cloudy day. Let's uh, do our course now, change to It's a controller to P3D because you know what? I don't have an issue in FSX with this uh, controller. I really don't. So I'm wondering if it's P3D maybe or the FSUIPC module with with because I've got version five in P3D, but I use version four in FSX. <laughs> so mad, right? We're cruising, so uh, we don't have to worry about mixture because uh, we're below 3,000 feet. Um, I think, yeah, we've everything's sorted, really. We just need to stay on top of trimming it, keeping an eye on our airport. And keeping an eye on the course and the airspeed and the vertical airspeed. And sort of keeping this just on just at the border of fifteen hundred feet, I think. Seriously, guys, this plane, it doesn't do this, really. Stay the thrall in. That throttle just keeps popping out. Yeah, I, I, Clive, I think I will be using FSX. P3D, this plane, this controller, uh, make for a disaster. Why have to contact Just Flight and say, why is your plane, like, behaving like this? Although it's probably not their fault. I'm sure nobody else has an issue like this. Right, 2,000 feet. Let's uh, level off now. Keep it level. There's the... Are we way off course? Oh my gosh, we are way off course. Why? The airport is there already. Like, but not the... That's not the... That's the length of the runway, yeah. Okay. But, what are we doing? Landing clearance. I don't want to land yet. Got 
me land already. Because I don't have it configured correctly. Well, why don't you tell me how I configure it correctly, mate? You seem to know it all. Because to be honest, I had it configured correctly. pushing me. So sensitive. Right, I think uh, we're going to do our turn in a minute. I mean, they've. I think they've got uh, traffic waiting because of me. Going a bit too fast here. Let's slow this sucker down a bit. Oop, and break some. Trim up. Trim up. There we go. There we go. Right, uh, we might as well turn two four zero now. go and the airport's just over there Woo! my life fields of glory Let's do our turn now then. Three three zero coming in. Turn the uh twenty five percent. Start descending. Trim up a bit. Oh, whoa, oh, bit too much. Too far past. First stage flaps. Let's turn on our landing lights. down if I can. There we go. Come on, we can do this. 
Get it together. This thing keeps on trying to pitch up. All right, there we go. We are on the course. We are coming in, dude. A bit more power. I think we're a bit low, to be fair. don't want the wind to suddenly throw us. I mean, we need to be going a bit faster, I feel. Because we don't want the wind to, to get us. Give it a bit more power, so... Oh. I think we're, too, we're way too low, I think. Let's climb a bit, actually. go. Alright, let's get over a bit. We do want to land. Hey, the wind is just throwing us. Stage of flaps. Going a bit too hot. Dude, why is this with... center and just as close to the center as possible flare pull back what the hell it wouldn't pull back then all right here we go oh this is no oh bollocks definitely more than minus 200 that <sighs> touchdown Supposed to be a touch and go, dude. But I didn't. I didn't say I was touching and going. I said I was full stop landing. You're the one who mentioned touch and go, mate. So I'm going to the gates, if you don't mind. Flaps up. Landing lights off. Got breeder heat back on. Right, 
right, what's, what do you reckon? What's, uh, what do what you reckon the landing rating is, guys? I'm, I'm guessing it's definitely more than 200. That, that, that felt like a 300 to me. And this is the last go. I can't do another one today. I've got to sort things out, so... Put your, uh, definitely practice makes perfect, yeah. Put your, your numbers in now. What do you reckon the landing rating was? We did it. We made it. 161. Love it. Absolutely love it. I got my, uh, I got my solo flight. I mean... To be honest, I, I don't think in the real world that would have actually been a win. I think that would have definitely been a fail. But oh, in, uh, in 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 the virtual pilot's life program, I have just earned my private pilot's license. There you go. Thank you very much. Next up, uh, instrument rating. Got to do that. And uh, yeah, my gosh. Boom. That's how you do that. So there we go. Anyway, um, that's it, guys. That's the end. Uh, my, my instructor is happy with that one, even if I'm not totally happy. But uh, there we go. That's uh, Birmingham. Oh, is that an A380 there? No, it's not. But it is an Emirates. And that's, that's cool, because Emirates do fly. Hang on a second. Uh, that's an Emirates mixed with a Delta there. Whoa. We've got a hybrid here. What is going on? Look at that. An Emirates. <laughs> Gosh. How many users have you had sign up? Mate, uh, the first round for the first month, we had about 30 to 40 sign-ups um, for the first month. And then each month it continues. So next, the next round of sign-ups, even though their requests are still coming in, won't be till September for that, for that uh, one now, unfortunately. So the first round was pretty good. And that's just the ground school. This, I'm actually doing the flight school, um, which no one has access to but me at the moment. So, there we go. Birmingham Airport. Solo flight achieved. Thank you very much. And I shall see everybody next time when we are go for our instrument rating. Take care. Bye-bye.